Greetings everyone and welcome back to Backpack Hero where today we're taking out Paladin Tote. I'm, I'm absolutely certain this is Paladin. Uh, but before we get into the run proper, I wanted to just take a moment to properly read over the carvings. So, we've got an oak stump, this is a shield carving at 9 block on summon, costs 1 energy to summon. We've got an oak hatchet, which got no energy to summon and no energy to use, but it can be used once each turn. When armor or a shield is present, this carving is discarded. On use, deals three damage and draws one carving. Okay, so when armor or a shield is present, so if there's any kind of shielding in the uh, backpack, then this gets just discarded out of the backpack and adds to the discard pile. Uh, we've got the crystal sap. When connected to three saps, deals 10 damage and then it's discarded. And the gem sap. When connected to three saps, deal six damage to all enemies. This is a projectile. This is not. Okay, so uh, bearing that in mind. And this is a melee weapon carving. All right, I think we're, we've got a handle on things. Now, which way are we going to go? I feel that since it's tote, it has to be to the bramble. I mean, come on. Let's go to the bramble. You are literally carrying some sort of glowing light in. Uh, wow, this is amazing. Uh, right, what have we got down here? My house looks like a hat. I, I, okay. Uh, Daughter's Diary. This is a magic kin book accessory carving. All weapons get plus two damage. On use, draw one carving. It's personal. Uh, the energy cost is one, but to summon it requires one mana. Life force wand. Summon it costs zero, but uh, requires one mana. Projectile conductive. On use, deals ten damage. We've got a bag of treasure. We've got a stake. A whole stake. Can be used one time each turn. Two uses. Adds three energy. When out of uses, destroyed. We've got the Book of Nightmares. A legendary book. On summon, deals 100 weak to all enemies. On discard, removes 100 weak from all enemies. Each turn, this carving is discarded. Eh. And then finally, we've got the uh, uh, Cordyceptor. <laughs> really, Cordyceps? Wow. Okay. On summon, deals 5 damage to all enemies. Each turn, hurts. Deals 3 damage to self. When an adjacent consumable is used, this carving is discarded. Okay, well, I really would like the Daughter's Diary, so we'll see what we can do with that. And I go. Let's see. Oh, it's going the right way. Yes. Yes, perfect. It's going the right way. Don't. Oh, no, no, no. That, that. Come on. Roll. Roll. Oh, wait, no. It popped up. It's, we've already got it. I would love... I thought this a few times and I just haven't mentioned it. I would love that every time you actually activate something, it just shows up over here so you know you've got it. Because for a moment I thought, oh, we're only going to get it if the shield stops on it. But no. All right, there we go. Daughter's Diary. Thank you very much indeed for that. On you, so draw one carving. I mean, we can't summon it presently, but I strongly suspect we're going to have mana soon enough. That usually is the way it goes. All right, so Daughter's Diary, straight away. We can't use it right now, but uh, we've got eight and five. That's not grand for me, I must confess. Uh, all right, well... Uh, on use deals three damage. Uh, which one do we want to go for? I'm gonna say we want to go for you. So pop and then use it. There we are. And on use summon something, which is quite nice. So we've got now we've got two saps. This should get rid of that. Here we go. And this one can slide in there as well. Now, if I bring these down, pop these in for now. That should be good enough. We'll be able to tank the damage incoming. What I won't be able to tank is any special abilities. Uh, okay, I would like to go for damage to all, so pop. There we go. And then all of them are gone. Now, at this point, I want to toss. It's going to deal a little bit of damage. But then I can bring in the Oak Hatchet and use it to summon something else. Okay, there's a little bit of extra protection. And then finally, we'll pop down the, uh, the Crystal Sap. Okay, I'm starting to get the way that Sap is going to be used. Generally speaking, pretty happy with it. There we go, and we get a level up. Right, with this one, it's a little bit different. You don't need to uh, make room for hats and shoes in the same way you do the other runs, but this is okay. Uh, there's the mana shard. I can just tuck that up there, I suppose. All right, let's have a look. So, proje projectile, an arrow, weapon, carving. For each empty space to the right, plus five damage. That's an awful lot of damage. Wow. This is the only true arrow in the game. When it's fired, it's gone. That's it. You've used it up. Uh, we've got the gem carving. Uh, adjacent weapons get plus two damage on summon. Deals five damage. When your turn ends, this carving is discarded. And then we've got the uh, plant carving. Each turn adds one rage to self. When an adjacent consumable is used, adds three rage to self. I mean, honestly, just getting one or two of these in, in your hand is just fine by itself. I will take it. Uh, but we do need to be aware of not muddying the deck. 
And we're going to be facing off against a chicken boss here. All right, a bee and a thrush soldier. The Bird Empire sends its newest recruits to the Bramble. Very well. Uh, okay, well, there's not too much use in playing this right now, but I will. Let's get you in play. I want to try and take the bee out if I can. Uh, we want to try and reduce the incoming damage. That's not quite going to be enough, but uh, it'll have to do. There we go. And that's that for this turn. There we go. Lost two health, but it's not the worst. All right, I would like... That's already going to do 10... Uh, sorry, 11 damage. This one's going to do 7 to everyone, so I want to focus a little bit more 7 to everyone. There we are. Uh, though, interesting. Uh, did I just misunderstand that? Let me open this up a second. Deal 7 damage to all enemies. Hmm. Why did you not take more damage? Very curious. Very curious indeed. Uh, at this point, though, I could bring this in. However, I'm not going to be able to use that properly. I'm going to need to toss here. There we go. Uh, with that, we'll bring... Actually, we'll... Oh, do I not have enough mana? In it? Can I not play it there? Oh, there. Oh, right. I still need the connection. I see. Interesting. All right. On use draws one carving. Let's play this first. That gives me a bit of a, a bonus there. So let's do that. And then I want to draw some more uh, more items. Can I get another sap? I can indeed. Oh, well, this is marvelous. Okay, well, let's pop these in. That is a very useful book to have summoned, but I can only summon it once, sadly. The big problem that I have here is that I've got no defense whatsoever, so uh, we're just going to have to face tank all of this damage. One damage off taking you out. Uh, that will be fine. This will finish the job. Pop. There you go. And another level up. All right, I want to start moving some things out in that direction so that we can move our mana over there. Right, get items. There we go. Another mana stone. Perfect. Right, what we got? Book, accessory, carving. Removes five from all status effects on everyone. Mm, not what I would like. Mossy brick. Adds three block. On use, this carving is discarded. Or another shiitake mushroom. I'm going to take the shiitake mushroom so we have the two of them. So in co uh, conjunction, it would allow us to uh, continually build our rage. Which I think is going to be a very, very useful one. Do we want the fight or do we want the gold? Ultimately, we want the we want the fight. I think that's going to give us more experience than the uh, well. In this case, it's just gold. I'm used to that choice being uh, being uh, against experience, but we wouldn't mind the clean burn. Uh, yes. Well, mm, it destroys them. We could take it. It's not the worst thing to bring with us. Uh, the gem, I'm not as keen on. Likewise, with the arrow for each connected mana stone plus two damage on you steals five damage. Mm. No, I don't really feel either of those right now. Let's see our mossy chest over here. Okay, let's have a look. So, wooden shiv. It's very nice. Can be used one time each turn. Uh, deals five damage plus one damage until discarded. We have got the spiky carving on summon. Deals nine damage. We have got a vine wand. Uh, on summon, that's three weak to all enemies. Uh, oh, sorry, two enemy. That would have been better. Uh, or we've got the Daughter's Blade. On summon, deals ten damage. On use, deals three damage. But these are both kin items. I might not mind having the Daughter's Blade and the Daughter's Diary. I'll pick it up for the potential synergy that we'll have going with that. All right, let's get into this fight. Okay, don't want to be dealing with Burn, because I have not got a um, consistent... Oh, damn it. I really should have had that somewhere else, shouldn't I? Uh, I don't have a consistent way of uh, dealing with this. Uh, so first, let's pop you down. And I then want to start doing a bit more damage. Perfect. We are going to be able to take you out in one go. There we are. And you're immediately running away. I uh, didn't really think that one through, did I? Oh, well, I guess I'll just allow it. Since there's not too much more. Unless I can play this down there. Now, did that get rid of it forever? Because if it has, then that's possibly a bad thing for me. Uh, let's use this twice. Not enough energy to play that. Oh, well. There we go. You're going to run away. It's fine. But after this, we can now check. No, it did straight up permanently destroy it. <laughs> and destroyed the candle. Well, that's what I get, I guess. Uh, the carved blade on you steals 14 damage. That's quite a nice one. Uh, acorn cap on summon adds 8 block. It's a shield that is carving. 
Hmm, I could get two oak hatchets, though, to be able to cycle my carvings that much faster, and I like that. We are going a very aggressive build here, but I don't have a lot of hope for it. I'm going to be honest. I think we need a way of sustaining our defense. But the ability to, to summon more items is very nice. Now, we've got an item there and some healing or some experience points. Mm, that's a tricky one, actually. Uh, do I want to give you... Tangled. I'll come back. If I end up with enough uh, gold, I might go for that. We have got a Mushroom Wand on Useal's 9 damage. When out of uses, this car is banished. Got another Mossy Brick. Another Shiitake Mushroom. I'll take it. Uh, we're going to go and fight a, a couple more fights before we go and grab that health. I'm, I'm feeling inclined towards the health at the moment. All right, first thing we want to do, we want to try and summon... Oh, another Hatchet. Perfect. Let's get you in. Summon that again. Wonderful. Now let's get both of these in. And remove you from the fight entirely in one go. That is very nice. And then we'll say goodbye to both of these. Okay. That wasn't a uh, bad run. We will take a bit of damage, but uh, I'm actually happy with what we managed to do in that first round. Alright, next up. We have not got enough sap, but that's okay. Uh, we can bring in the Daughter's Blade. Uh, we can bring the Daughter's Diary. Let's bring the Daughter's Diary in. Summon the Daughter's Blade. There we go. And I can use it again if I would like to. Uh, this does a lot of damage at this point. Uh, we can bring in all the shiitake mushrooms. Now, the question is, do I want to summon more sap? What else have we got over here? Honestly, most of it is going to be... Well, it'll be my, my bad luck if I get the hatchet. Come on, sap. No, not the hatchet. Do I go for it again? I wonder what happens if I play this. Does it, it, it instantly just gets rid of it. Oh, that's a shame. All right, well, let's just take you out then so I, I can minimize the, the incoming damage. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to be able to do too much, but in the next turn, I'll probably be able to take you out. But that's a lot of damage coming my way. Still learning the way that Tote plays. All right, let's start flashing out this side. There we go. We've got the Druid Staff. On summon, deals 10 damage. On discard, adds one mana to the connected mana network. Is it conductive? Yes, it is. Uh, root Sap. When connected to three saps, adds eight poison to an enemy. Okay. I would love to take this. Truly, I would love to take it. But it has to be the sap. This is a sap run, and I've done very little to signify that. Oh, hello. Capybara. Uh, you would like a mana stone? Sure, you can have this one. Great, he says. Maybe you want one of these instead. Let's have a look. Uh, okay. If connected to a mana stone, disabled. Uh, we've got the black mana stone, a legendary item there. On use, adjacent or diagonal mana stones are destroyed. When an adjacent or diagonal mana stone is destroyed, permanently increases the cost by one mana and permanently add, adds one mana. This is... I honestly think that this is the best mana stone you can get, but you need to get it early so that you have a chance to feed it. Can I? Can I? Oh my lord! I can take all of them. Oh! Now it's basically going to make this as powerful as this. Actually, one, two, three. No, it'll take it up to four, so it'll be a little bit more powerful. But this one mana stone will will power a good bit of a battle. Because if you've got a mana stone that has like ten mana in it, if you need more than ten mana in a single battle, you're doing something wrong. All right, we've got a fight down there. We've got uh, a carving over yonder. Uh, let's go and have a quick look at this fight. Hello there. Uh, I disapprove. All right. Let's uh, get things going. The first thing I'm going to do, gobble up all of that. There we are. Now, we don't have any more mana left. That is something to be aware of, but I don't mind too much. Uh, let's get these in. How is this not doing damage to you exactly? Oh, it's because I am not using it. That's why. That helps, generally. Uh, we are going to place in both shiitake mushrooms. I'm going to say goodbye to both hatchets. And then we're going to bring in the sap. Now, I am going to take a bit of damage. And we're going to have slimes growing all over the place. But it's just the way it is. One there. And finish reorganizing. And one there. I'm just going to 
use the... Uh, well, no, I don't want to cover that up. I am going to have to use my points to get rid of it. I should have actually put them a little bit closer, thinking about it a bit of a while. Uh, right, so first things first. Want to remove you. There we go. Go. You're just going to die now from the poison. Uh, next thing, I could bring this in. I would be able to remove... Well, I should probably focus on removing you, realistically speaking. I don't have mana to play this, sadly. So let's get this involved. There we go. And, yeah, I would need a little bit more in order to be able to win. On the plus side, this is going to mean they're all going to uh, join together. But I'm going to take a hell of a lot of damage here. We have got great luck, which is fantastic. But that's an awful lot of goo that we're going to have to get rid of. Right, goodbye to all of that. Very nice and easy. Right, let's get that on the go. Womp. That's brought all of these within killing range. Uh, if I... Well, I don't want to play that yet. Uh, I'm going to toss everything there. Going to place this in. Going to use this. Do some damage. There we are. Bring in the Daughter's Blade. Finish the fight. Okay. We are desperately hurting right now. This can be fed to the Mana Stone, but unfortunately it does mean I need to say goodbye to the Mana Stone. Like, I, I, at the start of a fight, I have to choose. Am I going to just use up the mana or feed the mana stone so I, it'll be a fight by fight basis at this point i could bring it back in the oak stump so i've got a little bit more protection sister spear kin melee weapon carving deals 10 damage on summon plus three damage is combat hmm that's interesting so every time i bring this this would be amazing with a very small deck each time you use it it gets stronger and stronger and stronger I want saps more than anything. I'm going to take the oak stump just to replace the one I got rid of earlier. Now, what have we got down here? Uh, three damage to a weapon, two block to armor, or add natural to a carving. I forget what natural does. I really do. Let's have a look. Does anything in here have natural on it? I imagine the plants would. No, plants don't. Do we have... Okay, na the atlas. Can we look for... Enter text. Natural. Oh, uh, oh click on tote. Or oh, actually... Yeah, specifically tote? Yeah. No, nothing there. Uh... Carvings. Let's have a look through these, see if there's anything here. Is there anything that has natural on it? Otherwise, I might just take it just to, to figure it out, but I feel that we've seen the natural before. I just don't recall what it is. Oh, wait, natural, I think, means that it always starts in your hand. I believe that's that's the way that natural works. And how much was it? Ten gold to add natural to something. I would like that, actually. Uh, okay. Given this, uh, maybe the daughter's diary? So we can start pulling in other carvings? Yeah, let's always start with the daughter's... Oh, item can be forged further. That's a shame. Uh, all right, does anything in here have... Yes, actually, a couple of things do. But none of the saps can have it. Oh, wow. Actually, very few things can have it. Okay. Maybe not, then. Because the things I would have wanted to put natural on don't appear to be available. All right. Well, I'll come back to this, then. For now, we're not going to make, be making use of it. But let's see what we've got over here. Have we got any sap? We have actually got a couple of things. There's bolt carvings. Connected weapons get plus three. We've got the Chanterelle. Adds one haste to self each turn. When an adjacent consumable is used, adds three haste. Another Shiitake Mushroom. A Ring of Dreams. For each connected mana stone, gets plus one to mana. Each turn adds one mana to the connected ne uh, mana network and removes one energy. Ooh. I mean, that's kind of good, actually. Uh, Lucky Charm adds great luck as long as it's been summoned. And then gets banished. 
both the mushroom and the ring seem amazing, and I'm very tempted. Hmm. Very tempted, actually. We will take it, and I'm going to move this around a little bit. I, I know I'm muddying the deck, and I'm doing exactly what I say not to do. Right. Uh, want to see what I have today? Well, let's have a look, then. You've got Root Sap. I wouldn't mind buying that, actually. For six, I will take it. Uh, Enoki Mushroom. Each turn adds four blocks, a passive block. I mean, it's, it is tempting. Ending up with a bit of a mushroom build, in a way. Uh, maybe I should keep an eye out for the Enoki Mushrooms. We'll have a think about it. But I think at this point, I need to go and get that healing. As much as I want the experience, the healing is more tempting to me right now. Uh, another hatchet. We've got an acorn cap. And we've got a frothy drink. When destroyed, placed with an empty cap. On use heals 10, adds 1 energy, and then is destroyed. Okay. I mean... I would like to bring this with me and take it back for research. Uh, but, I mean, it gets me tea. I mean, come on. But I really need the health. Ugh. I'm going to take another oak hatchet. I I know that one sounds odd, but since they allow me to... Uh, I, they're free to summon, free to use, and draw carving. They actually work towards getting me more sap damage. So uh, that, that one actually uh, seems like a, a smart one. Right, let's go and say hello to this enemy or these enemies down here. Okay, you will steal five gold. What do I want to do first? Um, first thing I want to do is drink that. And then I want to just clobber you with this. There we go. Uh, now, we want the mushroom in play. I would like to play the daughter's blade. There we go. You're almost ready to go down. I'm going to need to block. So let's get these in play. And the problem is... I I actually kind of wish I'd done that first. But let's get rid of those. Now I'll summon this in. Yep. Now we should have plenty of sap to use. Right, this goes over here. Womp. Uh, each turn adds three mana to, connect to the connected mana network. And at this point, I can actually use... Now, this is why I took that. It's because I can feed mana to this now. And next turn, this is going to give me two in exchange for one energy. Such a good deal. Uh, this can't be played right now. I should have played that first, really. Oh, uh, well. Uh, let's get these in play. There we go. There's not a lot I can do, but... We're just going to have to sink so much damage. That was wild. Alright. Well, let's get this in play. Let's actually focus on someone else for this one. There we go. Now, two hatchets. Uh, three hatchets. We've already got more sap. We can bring this in as well. If only I'd had those first. Uh, let's see. What else can I get? Four sap. I wonder. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder aloud, I wonder. What if we did something like this? And then I connect this in and it's going to trigger all of them at the same time. I guess we're going to find out. Alright, I have now learned how to use sap properly. It only took me most of my health. Damn it. Uh, reeds, shield, carving, on summon 12 block. That's very nice. Uh, Enoki mushroom, on summon adds 4 block. We're going to feed you. Uh, removes 5 stats from everyone. I don't think that's what we're going to be going with. But, sure, let's grab more mushrooms. Alright, some gold. Let's see what's in the chest. We have got a grand... Oh, hard hat. Hmm. We are taking it. And another oak hatchet. All right, I, I approve of this. Uh, however, I'm going to move this across a little bit so I can shimmy some more things in here. That'll do. Uh, I'm not going to take the acorn cap. I am quite concerned about this. No lie. Got 19 health and I'm going to go against an elite. Hello. Right, you're going to continually get stronger over time. Not ideal for me. First, 
bring this in. Oh no, I've got armor. Well. Okay, I think I might need to say goodbye to that armor then. I didn't even think of it as armor, which is my fault, really. Uh, let's bring these in. And some block. There we go. We'll still take a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Right. Uh, let's bring you in. Yeah, on summon it doesn't do any damage, so no use to me, really. Uh, I'm going to have so many hatchets now as well. Alright, let's see what else I can get. Is it another sap? Yes, it is. Gloriousness. Right, let's bring all of these together. And I don't think I can target you. No, I can't. So I'm just going to have to face tank this. Uh, yeah. And there's no point in me even playing around with these because I can't get rid of the hat. Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of that hat, unfortunately. That's such a shame. But oh well. It is what it is. At this point, I will hold off and I will play that at the end. But you're first going to... Well, actually, I've got nothing else that, that consumes anything, so I can just play that now. Uh, let's bring in the mushroom. Bring you in. Please give me two sap. Oh. No more. I brought that in first. Never mind. I did actually want it anyway, so it's fine. There we go. But that was, a, that was quite the misplay there. Alright, let's see about this. Womp. Now a lot of dam damage coming my way. Good lord. See that? It would have worked. If only. If only so many things. I don't have enough energy to use this, and this is going to take me almost to death. Oh, well, actually no, it took me to death. Ah, <laughs> oh, that, was, that was rough. Choose an item to save. Nothing selected. Well, let me have a look through. Does anything here... Is anything needed? Alright. We were playing a sap run, and I really wasn't focusing on sap, ultimately. I don't really think any of these are particularly useful for me, but uh, I guess we'll bring back this. Alright. Well, you know what? We're only 27 minutes in. I refuse to take a loss on this. We're going to retry. Okay, let's see how this goes. Now, for a few things that I've learnt. One, I can't have any passive block if I'm going to be using Oak Hatchet. So in a way, I kind of want to get rid of them. Because I was leaning on it too much. It is nice to be able to draw. But I would rather use energy to draw. That being said, if I am, if I manage to find some things that if I get these in and I draw everything and then get rid of them with the, with the blocks, that wouldn't be too bad. Alright, we're going to go b back to the Bramble. I'm not going to let the Bramble defeat us. Not in this glorious, shiny armor. Okay. First up, let's go and see what we've got. Do we have Sap? We do. Ooh, what's this? Toadstool Sword. Can be used four times each combat. On use, deals 15 damage. When out of uses, this carving is banished. Uh, I could take more block, or I could take more Sap. It has to be more Sap. And here we've got the reversal amulets for each hazard in this row. I don't think I want that one. Uh, maybe the poison carving, honestly. On summon adds four poison to the to an enemy. That's not a bad one, really. I will pick that up. Some status effects are badly needed. Right. Uh, first and foremost, how much does this cost to bring in? One energy. Well, let's hold off on it, then. There we go. We've got the sap that we want. Now I'm just going to summon these in. And then a bit of protection. There we go. And we can just end the turn because you've got poison. This time we're just going to open up the the uh, backpack as much as we can. The Blossom Band. When mana flows through, draw one carvings. Ooh. This doesn't use mana by itself, so I would need something that would use mana. It's cost one to bring in and would allow me to do 10 damage. This is a nice carving, but let's just focus on, on things that will allow us to draw. 
possibly some protective wards and also uh, going for uh, the sap itself. I'm going to try and really focus on the sap specifically. This isn't going to be useful to me until I've got mana stones and until I've got something that consumes mana. So for now, that is a nope. Now, it has been pointed out many times to me, and I finally got the message. I'll just get more gold if I defeat them. They don't actually steal from me. Uh, let's bring this in. There we go. And then we'll start stacking up the saps. And a little bit of protection. There we are. Unfortunately, the healing there kind of undid all my hard work. That's fine. There we go, and now bring in a bit more protection. We'll toss that away. I could have brought this in and tossed it actually in as well, I suppose. There we go. Still going to take a, a bit of damage from that attack. Now you're going to focus on healing, which I really don't want you to do. Uh, we've not got enough sap, sadly. Still, we can start building it up all the same. There we are. I could toss, but I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hold off on that one. There we are. The, the, the fact that we can keep applying poison really is amazing, though. There we are. And get our items. Right, we've now got some mana. Do I want any of these? On summon adds 12 bark. The reeds, and it can be upgraded twice as well. Um, Jason weapons get plus two damage. On summon deals five damage. I don't mind taking some block items, like I said. Simply because I really did struggle for any kind kind of defense in the last, uh, last run. So maybe I was being a little bit too... Uh, Neglectful in that regard. Uh, once again, exactly the same setup here. Uh, we'll, I guess, we'll bring this in. How much does it cost? It costs nothing, so it's fine. Let's get you. Let's draw. Okay, we've got enough to take you out in one hit. Then there we are, and we can block for the incoming damage. There we are. Now, this is going to end up being a bit of a longer episode. I realize that. Still, I hope you won't mind too much. Uh, let's get some poison going on there. Uh, we want to bring these in. And this wallop load of block, I would say. Yes. And then I'm just not going to bring that one in. There's no point. I've got nine damage incoming. Buy this. What did I just toss away? Oh, it was the poison carving. Never mind, that was that was correct. Okay, you're gonna die from this one, so I'll just let that happen at this point. Actually, no, I won't. I'll, I'll help out a little bit more. There you go. And we get our level up. All right, nice bit of space to play with now. Uh, another poison, tempting. Acorn sap, when connected to three saps, adds ten block. Oh, there we go. Vine sap adds dodge to self. Both of those I want, but I will take the acorn sap. All right, that's what we were missing last time. Uh, you want some armor. Uh, sadly, I don't have any. I, I travel quite light as tote. Some healing down there. I will happily accept. Okay, full health. Onwards and downwards. On the plus side, you know, gathering a decent amount of material back in Havasak Hill. Uh, what are we going to have over here? We've got the cutting board. It is an accessory. When an adjacent consumable is used, that adds four block. A key. I will pick up the key, but I'm not going to take the, the uh, block. Two spikes to a shield, two blocked armor, three block to a shield. I wouldn't mind this one. Would this count on, on here? No, it doesn't count on saps. Hmm. I couldn't. Possibly do this to both of them. I quite like the idea of having spikes to help out a little bit. And let's have a look at what you got. Uh, Inoki Mushroom. We've got the shiny carving. We've got the green candle. Can be played over other items on summon carvings behind are discarded and this this one is worth us taking once i've got enough money to pick it up again the tree shield over here can be played over other items on someone that's 14 block carvings behind this one also worth picking up wow okay 
This is going almost in the opposite direction. We've got a lot of potential for discarding items there. A lot of potential for it. Right, well, first I would like to bring in the hatchet, do a little bit of damage, uh, apply a bit of poison, and then start building up my sap over here. I'll bring this in. I'll bring... Well, do I want to bring both? Well, I may as well, I suppose. There we go. That does give us spikes, if nothing else. And since you're going to attack multiple times, that is especially potent against you. Uh, we'll bring in... This sap here. We'll build this up properly. And kapow. There we go. Uh, now, I've got a lot of damage coming my way, so adding this in is a very nice way of doing it. Honestly, we should put two uh, spikes on that as well. Just have a massive defense spike build. <laughs> I know we were going for sap, but I changed my mind. Uh... Go a little bit more protection, and that's all we needed to do. Not bad at all. all right, what have we got? We've got another crystal sap. We've got a uh, chanterelle. I think crystal sap, obviously. Just continue to build up the sap for us. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this is a lot of potential damage here. Actually, a worrying amount of potential damage. Um, I don't want to go for you. Perfect. Wonderful. Get some block. We've got the potential here to do th uh, 30 damage. In fact, I'll be able to take you out as long as I build this correctly. You're going to do more damage yourself on my spikes. Y you are still going to do damage to me, and that's fine. But I wanted to take out the one that was going to shield itself and add a lot of... Uh, uh, do a lot of damage as well. Right, we've got oodles of block available. But let's play poison in first. Uh, again, not really much point in playing that, but I will for the sake of it. Pop that in. I'm then I'm going to toss these. Oh, I don't have enough energy, my bad. Oh, well, I'll just bring that in then. Right, you're going to steal some cash. You're now going to try and scarper, which I disapprove of. Uh, let's see. We want to do our damage first. That'll give us block. This is going to apply poison to the enemy in question. Um, honestly, it doesn't really matter which way we do this. We're going to kill them both at the same time. Right, there we go. Another mana stone. We've got a mushroom. We've got the overgrown axe on use. Deals 11 damage. On kill, draw one carving. Ooh. But it costs two gold to use. But as long as I've got money, I could keep drawing carvings. This one might be worth it. It's a difficult one, though. It's a lot of room, but I'm going to pick it up. The fact that it allows for extra draw is quite, quite important. You know, before we do, go do any of that, I'm going to see what else we've got here. Uh, get a different item of the same rarity. I'm going to say no to that one. Because I don't know what you'd give me. And uh, right now I'm trying to control my build. Uh, oh! Last run! This is why we lost. Fate was guiding us. We'd already passed the robot head. We had to come back around. Clearly, this is a blessed run. Thank you very much indeed. I will take it. I will keep it. I will... Is that an actual point? Poison potion? It is a poison potion. Okay, well, I'll take that too. Uh, Alright. <laughs> that was fantastic. Nothing up my sleeves. Hmm. Dreaming Sword. Add two damage for each carving played this combat. Wow. That's potentially crazy. Uh, for each mana stone above this, plus four block. Each turn adds two block. Adds one mana to connect the mana net. I'm, I'm going to say no on all of those. The, the sword is amazing, but it's too close to a curse. Uh... And this time I'm going to say no on the experience. Because I would rather get more chances to find uh, carvings that would work with my build. Uh, adjacent carvings are discarded. Hmm. On you steals 8 damage and then is discarded. So that would, that would consume mana. It would allow me to discard carvings and 
I would discard this as well, though. Hmm. No, not not the right one for me. Not the right one. Is there anything here needed for research? No. Okay, that's fine. Let's go and grab the co uh, the co uh, hold up, the coins. And then we're gonna go and see about picking up a shield. Uh, we want this so I can discard carvings, but this one is by itself capable of doing that anyway. So uh, I think we're gonna pick this up for twelve. That is marvellous. I could still pick up the candle if I really wanted to. We'll see how that goes. Right, I don't have nearly as much room now to play with, which is a bit of a pain, but oh well. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is... I can't look at you, unfortunately, so I'm just going to use that for now. There we go. Got acorn sap as well. Not too bad. Let's get rid of you. Get some more spikes as well. I'm going to prepare a big sap combo here and that's my turnover all right now i could drop a lot of stuff in here um but ultimately i want to use the sap combo first i think uh yes there you go now, a bit of damage incoming nothing too terrifying though gonna be rid of these that is amazing i love it we need to get spikes on there very badly need to get spikes on there uh i could finish you off with these honestly don't even need to use this <laughs> wow okay that was a lot of damage we just dealt uh have we got anything here the spiral lance deals five damage to all enemies each turn plus five damage until used okay that one is really nice. If we brought that in and just left it for a little bit... No, I... Again, we're going to try and focus. Focusing, focusing, focusing. I'm collecting all of these now. And I'm not going to have a black stone to use them on. Ah, <laughs> oh, how frustrating. But no, there's nothing there that we want for this build. Uh, I've got a powerful enemy over yonder. But first, let's head back here. More spikes to a shield. This one can take two. It's done. All right, let's go and say hello. Hi. Okay, reasonable amount of potential damage here. Now, two gold for pulling that. Let's start off... I probably want to try and deal damage to the ruffian, if I'm perfectly honest, but... All right, let's get this in. Spikes, because I'm going to have some shielding here. Wow. On kill draws one carving. Oh, not, not enough energy? Not enough? Oh, I haven't got any gold. I'm so used to having gold. Wow. How amusing. I can't actually use it. Uh, Alright, well, we'll toss it then. But, uh, my lord. I am poor. Ugh. Okay. Well, let's have a look then. Uh, we could get a nice big block going on. Quite a lot of block, actually, in here. Not much else that I can do, though. Uh, but I'm going to place this down. I guess I'm going to bring this in as well. Then I'm going to drop that down. That should be uh, nice. They're, they're going to do a healthy amount of damage to themselves. Oh, those spikes are beautiful. Uh, right, we want some poison. I would like some diamonds there. This part is worrisome. Let's bring this in. It'll increase my spikes. I'm going to toss. Play this. See what I get. Uh, okay, just one. Alright, it's going to hurt a lot, actually. I'm going to take eight damage from this. Now, how else am I going to play? Uh, you know what? We'll just bring these in. Along with you. And this. You'll do a load of damage to yourself trying to attack me. The poison is now becoming extremely dangerous. In fact, that should... Oh, no. It's just shy of the amount that I needed it to apply. Never mind. We still win. Okay. A uh, proper mana stone. Now, is there anything here worthwhile? Not really. 
The acorn cap, perhaps, because it does get blocked, but... I mean... You know what, sure, I'm going to take the acorn cap, and we're going to continue to try and level them all up. I'm going to leave... Well, no, I, I need the health. It won't overheal. Hello. Once again. Exactly the same fight. Disapprove. Alright. Well, let's try and get through you then. Uh, acorn cap can go over here. Along with some spikes. And I am not going to attack straight away. I'm going to build up the attack first. I need something that can use my energy. Because I'm just sat on it right now. A little bit more. Do I have... Any other... Sa yes, I do. Good. I'll pop that one there. And then turn. Uh, this is going to hurt a bit. But, on the plus side... Womp. That being said, that was probably massive overkill for that particular enemy. Uh, I could use the overgrown axe at this point. But do I really want to? An important question. I don't really. And you're going to do a, a bit of damage yourself with these attacks anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, got some decent sap there. Uh, we will bring in some protection. Hmm. I should have waited on that. If I attack you now, you will do much more damage to me. Whereas right now, you're only going to do one. I'll let that one overspill. I should have uh, tossed before placing down the saps there. My bad. All right, that'll give me a bit of block, which I will approve of enormously. Let's apply that as well. Now we're going to toss. That will increase your damage output a wee bit. That's fine. Okay, this is enough sap for us to win the fight. There we go. Not bad at all. And now we get a little bit more leveling up to do. All right, we've got uh, a couple of saps. We've got Vine Sap, which will give us dodge. We've got an energy point. Huh, on summon adds one energy. Now that's an interesting one. It's also, hmm, but more Root Sap. No, I think we're gonna take the Vine Sap. Let's mix things up a little bit. Actually, I can take two. I'll take that one as well. All right, let's have a look at what you got. You got a pot carving on summon, draw two carvings. This carving is then banished. Um, I see no reason to take this, uh, not to take this. All right, with that, we've got enough to put some spikes on one more of my shields. Or, I could pick up the green candle. And I feel the green candle, I'm starting to lack space aggressively. So I think the green candle is the one that I need. Just for a little bit of uh, deck cleaning utility. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is going to be such a long episode. <laughs> also, I'm not sure why I'm apologizing. I'm sure quite a lot of people are like, Yay, a long episode. At least I hope so. Now, I could bring in the axe. Uh, however, I think what we're going to focus on is just powering up. Go. I'll leave the axe there for, for now. I haven't got enough gold to really make use of it, probably. Uh, well, that's a bit of a shame, but okay. Pop this down, and womp. Good bit of damage there. Gives me all the defense I need. Let's throw that away. Bring in the hatchet. Summon again, and a bit of extra poison. Okay, not a bad turn, actually. We're not going to take any damage, and uh, you've got four poison on you. Okay, 18 damage coming my way now. That is a little bit more of a concern. Uh, we could get rid of that easily enough. Good. And this as well. Thank you. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Let's play that to get rid of it. Uh, we can throw these in since it'll give me a bit of shield so I won't take any damage. And we've given you quite a lot more poison as a consequence. I am a little bit concerned of what's going to happen once we end up in the, the full-on fight here. All right, let's draw two more things. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, especially because I can do this. And then be rid of the shield. There we go. Bring in some sap. I'm not going to play this. I've got nothing that's going to make use of it. But we've got five spikes going on right now. 
Do I really want to play a... You know what? What I want to do now is to play in as much spikes as I can for what's coming up next. No point in adding that in. We're just going to toss there. Clean board. There we go. Lots of spikes on the go as well. Now, you're not going to do anything. You're going to... I have to break through you. Power. Lonely. When alone, change the behavior in future turns. Okay. Uh, decent amount of sap available. I would like to poison you to start with. Then bring in an axe. Okay, nice. That was a good draw, actually. And I like to get rid of you as quickly as I can. Perfect. You're going to go down, which means that you're no longer blocked. Which is great, because you've got very little health. You do a whomping great amount of damage, if I recall correctly. Yeah, 15 damage incoming. All right, let's hit you. Uh, we could just apply poison and then take my focus off you, but I think we're going to go for the poison on you instead. There we are. Now, let's build up our attack. There we are. Nicely done. Sap build? Surprisingly effective. Really? Was it just that? We don't go down to the next floor? <gasps> well... I greatly approve. This isn't going to be as long of an episode. I was expecting to go down to the magma core and everything. I was so worried that this was going to be stupidly long. But not only did we succeed, not only did we only have one level, not only did we learn how to use sap properly, because that would that definitely was really fun. I actually really enjoyed that. I'm glad we I, I decided to do that a second time. But the most important part of important parts, the very most important, where are you? How can I help you, dearie? I think you know. There we go. Oh my! All the pieces of crate! He always was getting itself in... He always was getting itself. Hmm, okay. In trouble. Not to worry, I'll have him fixed up in no time. I mean, I'm, I'm used to having, like, he and they, and, and things like that, but... He and it? That That's not a combination that I've... I'm, I'm used to. Uh, you're such a darling purse. Thank you for finding all their pieces. Make sure you stop over here in a bit. I'll be working my tooth off. I thought it was... I, 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 first time I read it, that was tooth. I was like, oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. Maybe he'll put... Uh, he'll be put together next time you get here. Ah, uh, maybe with Crate. They're, they're literally just changing the pronouns constantly. That is so confusing, but also kind of uh, a fun little gimmick. Uh, let's have a look. If, if that literally is it, just every time, it's just like, uh, just randomly deciding whether it's an it, a he, a they. Uh, let's see. I, I still don't have your plush, do I? No, no, I very much don't. Why have I got a little ice cream? Uh, all right, well. Let's have a look. Do I need to talk with Matthew? Matthew! Great job bringing so much back. The people of Alderia, thank you. There's still more areas to unlock. Do you have lost sparks for me? I do, actually. Uh, you don't have any more things for me to use on them. That makes me very sad. All right, well, we don't even need to check what's going to happen. We are going to be playing with Crate as soon as we can, assuming that I can use it now. It might be like, haha, no, you've got to go on one more battle. Uh, sad. Uh, I guess I'll use that there then. Uh, this is going to give us a cleansing bomb. Four uses removes 100% of status effects from all enemies. That might be good against enemies that have very strong buffs. But generally speaking, that's not something I would normally go for. Uh, I very much doubt we're actually going to have much to use here. Simply because uh, carving runs... Uh, like Nothing really uses carvings. Then they're, they're not a unique item, generally speaking. So I think this is just going to be a sale run. I'm just quickly glancing through. I mean, I could get this, actually. There we go. Throw the book at them. You start with these items. Okay. And the Dreaming Buckler. Ah, it's five block. This carving is discarded. When a carving is summoned in an adjacent space, plus four block. Okay, so a pure block run. That's one where we would want spikes. 100%. Just spikes all the way for that one. All right, let's go and uh, sell things off, then. And actually, before we do, let's have a quick gander. Can I afford to buy any of the... Yeah, I can, actually. And uh, you can have a pot right there. Or there. There we go. Right. Let's sell all the things. All the things. 
There we go. Not bad at all. Decent bit of cash. Is there anything we can break? Uh, build? Yeah, a bridge right here. Uh, I kind of want to line it up, but mm, I'll pop it there. It isn't perfectly well lined up. We'll do something like this. There you go. All right. Not too bad. Do I have enough to place any more items down? I've got some more weapon racks, item pedestal. I probably do want to play around with those at some point. But let's instead go and see about unlocking some more furniture. Get the efficiency up of our buildings. Uh, where was it that did that? Town hall? No. Ah, here we are. Uh, right, let's have a gander through. Uh, can't do any of those. I could do this. We could. What? I can unlock a whole building? I really didn't properly look in here. It's an agricultural decoration. Okay. But this is a whole building. Sell items here. Gain treasure to expand Havasak Hill for each commercial decoration nearby. Plus 5% efficiency. Okay. Well, I'll unlock the bank. I should pay attention more. Uh, greenhouse for each agricultural decoration nearby, plus 10% efficiency. Okay, we'll grab that one. What else we got? Uh, as a decoration, we've got the quarry. Create 10 building materials while you're in the dungeon. Absolutely want that, but we're going to have to save up for it. The wash basin. Okay, well, uh, can't grab those anymore. And I don't have enough treasure really to grab anything else. But let's have a look at what those new buildings are going to involve. The bank will cost 200 treasure. We, are, As much as that seems, we're probably going to be able to get that fairly quickly. The greenhouse we can already build for each agricultural decoration nearby. Well, you know what? Should I put the greenhouse down here somewhere? Maybe tuck that in. Oh, this actually has a wide area. I feel this greenhouse deserves some more room to uh, flourish. Maybe we'll have another bridge down here somewhere. I think we're going to move this one up. Uh, no, it, it does the best down here because it needs all of this water. Another bridge down here shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then we can uh, branch over. Uh, actually, for the time being, let me pop it up here. Just so that it's nearby somewhere and I can have a look at it. Oh, sorry. Right. No, no. Continue game. There we are. Now, can I see the green? Yes, I can. Marvellous. I can get barrels. Okay, so just different natural decorations. Okay. Uh, garden beds, agricultural decorations, rocks. All right, so this doesn't unlock any uh, anything for the dungeon, but it does. there is actually a lot to unlock in Havasak Hill just for decorating Havasak Hill. I'm actually really, really happy with that. Though, it costs an awful lot to get those things. But, oh, damn it, we can't get great. Why? Uh, all right, well, fine, fine, fine. Let's uh, have a thing. I think it is time for a purse run, actually. And uh, we're going to take out... Yeah, it's been ages since we've taken out Eldritch Purse. What are we going to do? It's the Red Tusk. Uh, one's on me. This one's on me, rather. Each time you earn... Two, uh, plus 2% each time you earn gold. You start with these items. You must keep them the entire run. You start with these items. The run ends after area two. These are the rewards. Uh, this For every two gold, this item creates a drink. And then the bomb stone. On use, weapons behind get plus 500% bonus damage permanently. Weapons behind this are used. Weapons behind this are destroyed. Ah. Hmm. I think I can see exactly how I would use this. In conjunction with an empty cup. You know what? Although this is only going to go to the second area and it's not going to go all the way down into uh, the magma core, I think this is exactly what we're going to be doing. We'll also start with gold, the root of all evil. We'll start with uh, piggy bank, when combat ends, plus two gold. And little buckler. Let's go adventuring. All right, let's pop that down there. We're going to have the piggy bank. We're going to have little buckler and then the bomb stone. Actually, I'm going to want these up here. Uh, create a drink in this row. So that should be fine. Uh, so we're going to actually want to expand this out quite a lot. But all right. 
that's where we're going to have to end today's episode. A surprisingly short episode, considering what I was expecting, but I'm very, very glad to have gone onwards to uh, to actually succeed with Paladin Tote. That was a good run. It has definitely taught me how to use sap properly, and also maybe crate in our very, very near future. Hopefully, it is just a case that we need to go down into the dungeon once, and then crate is activated, and we can uh, take crate out on the next run because our oh, crate is my favorite character as well you probably know if you've been to any of my backpack hero streams i cannot wait to showcase him properly but that is going to be it from me so until next time and as always do leave a like if you like and sub if you haven't already and i will see you for some future backpack hero but until then do take care <laughs>